It has taken nearly 70 years, but a Kentucky soldier from the Korean conflict is no longer missing in action. Last week, Mary Boland found out that her brother, James Elmore, has been identified after DNA testing matched remains that were recently discovered. As C. Butera reports, it brings closure for the family. I mean, it's been a long time coming. 68 years to be exact. My brother's come home. <laughs> Since Albany, Kentucky native Mary Bolin last heard from her brother Joe Elmore, and she never knew she would ever come in contact with him again, even after his death in 1950 in the Korean War. I'm still in shock. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just unreal. But I'm so thankful. The prayers were answered. Bolin was just 15 years old when Joe Elmore died in the Battle of the Chosen Reservoir. His body was never found for decades. Time passed and Mary's other siblings died, leaving just her. About 20 years ago, Bolin and her sister supplied DNA samples to the military, hoping someday it would be key to identifying Elmore's remains. Just 20, he was gone, but we still hoped. If you lose hope, there's not anything to look forward to, is there? Last week, she got the call. That changed everything. Her brother had been found. Bolin says her story proves to hold on to hope, especially for the thousands of families who still wait for their loved ones killed in battle to come home. I can't sleep good knowing that he'll be buried down there at the little cemetery where mom, dad, and my brothers and my sisters buried. This is something she didn't know she would ever be able to do. In Bowling Green, Stevie Terra, LEX 18 News. Family says a full military funeral will be either this week or next in Clinton County.